Alright, so in this video I'm just going to show you how to clone um, and move a subtool around. So I got rid of the original claws that were just um, all one subtool. I didn't have any control over moving them unless I wanted to try to do it with like the move topological brush or something, which can get to be pretty difficult and it's not very practical. So um, I'm going to duplicate these up and uh, I'm going to put them into position. Um, the only thing is, as I will have to actually do it again one more time, and that's because I'm putting these into position just so that I can sculpt and know where to sculpt around them on this piece. But I'm also going to, I'm not going to want to repaint them. So once this one's all painted up and final, I'm just going to do it again. But I'm just going to show you how to go about doing that. So let's click the subtool that we want to. Um, duplicate and let's just drop down the subtool palette and click duplicate and then under geometry since these are smaller and um, especially since I'm not keeping them I'm going to lower the subdivs just so that like my computer is not crashing and stuff like that um, before it really needs to <laughs> so once you have that let's just um, switch from edit object mode to the move scale and rotate and you get this little uh, gizmo 3d that pops up and let's just snap to the front view and just you can just start moving with these arrow tools so the one thing that you might notice is for moving that's fine and that works nice but for rotation it's not really rotating around the correct point I'd probably want it to rotate around here at the ball where the joint would actually rotate in uh, real life so let's just scale in a little bit and you'll notice above the Gizmo 3D you have some options there um, this one is helpful if you want to just get to the center very quickly. You can click that and it looks like it already is at the center because nothing happened. But so if this was um, up here or something or, you know, in a weird spot, you could quickly center it. Um, the other uh, handy one right here is this lock. <clears throat> and if you just unlock that, then you can edit let's let's go back to our front view you can just edit the position of your gizmo now let's look at it from the side view and maybe a little bit of perspective to get that right there and then once you have it where you want it you just lock that again and now when I rotate this I'm rotating at the ball joint which is much better than trying to rotate it when the joint isn't in the right spot because then you'll basically just have to go back and forth between rotating and moving and it can become pretty cumbersome so let's scale this down a little bit I say we'll leave this one kind of a little bit bigger since it's yeah, I think that's probably a pretty good size there um, and actually I'm kind of thinking maybe keep this one rotated outwards like that and we'll have them kind of rotate in a little bit as we go so you would just continue this process um, go back up to subtool hit duplicate again and then just pull it up and start moving it into place how you want it scaling moving and rotating so let's just zoom out a little bit so you can see how it's looking I'm gonna click on the head so it's not the gizmo is not in the way of my view let's uh, draw just so we don't see that at all and that's looking that's already looking pretty cool I like the claws being pretty big towards the bottom I'm going to click on this one again and just activate the, the gizmo 3d a little bit I want to change the orientation of this one just a little so
That looks pretty neat. The other thing to talk about while I'm talking about this gizmo is if you check this transpose all subtools, that's another uh, kind of nifty thing to know about. That way you can actually um, rotate the entire object. Um, so, um, and actually, I'm not really sure what, what was going on there. Um, that might be something that I'll have to uh, Google because sometimes when I'm trying to rotate um, subtools and stuff, they actually kind of start collapsing in on each other. And I don't know if that's just like a glitch or if there's something that I've pressed. But I'm going to stop this video here because now you understand how to duplicate and uh, kind of just move and scale and rotate your objects around. Again, if you need to, you can transpose all the selected subtools with this. So this would, if it was working correctly, it would rotate the entire creature rather than just one. All right.